on you guys welcome to another vlog we're going to be playing today here we're in the Bahamas we're at Sandals Emerald Bay on the golf course designed by Greg Norman himself as you can see we've been with Greg Norman for this trip it's been awesome but today I'm gonna to be playing by myself I'm gonna be going through course strategy I'm gonna be playing off the blue tees and we're gonna play holes one through three and we're gonna see how we do here we go are you rolling yeah oh. Listen, how do you guys feel about the hat, okay? I think, I like it. I think it's like feminine and cute and like mature and it covers and shades my entire face and it's all about sun protection. It's also flaming hot here in the Bahamas, so I'm just gonna throw that out there, okay? I think it's cute. You tell me. All right, so hole number one is a par five here and the tee box, as you can see, has you lined up towards the left. And if you, if you actually set up to the left of a tee box that is set up already aiming left, there's water to the right, it'll set you up for a cut. And right now the wind is going that way. So I'm actually going to set up to the right of the tee box to help me go away from the trouble. You always want to tee it up on the same side of the trouble so you avoid the trouble. Here we go. I shot it one time and I got it around 240, which really isn't bad. It's only 200 to clear that bunker up there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and send it, but I'll get a five wood because I want a downhill live and play a cut to carry over that left side of that bunker over there. And I'll have leeway if I get in the bunker, it's not too bad. Um, and go from there. Obviously here right is bad. So, and I'm already set up on the right side of the fairway. So hopefully that'll help me go towards that left side and get in the grass. Okay. Ended up being a layup and that's why we play smart. I actually hooked it really bad. I feel like I had like a hitch in my swing on that one that I haven't warmed up, but I'm, I had enough leeway so that I knew that if I missed left or right, I was gonna be safe and that's always what you wanna do. Make sure you have enough leeway both sides. Just shot it, I got 72 yards to the pin. I have quite a lot of green to work with, I'd say. Um, 70 yard shot is about a 60 degree for me. And one thing I'll say for advice when you have your wedges is never feel like you have to full swing it because when you have that mindset of full swinging a wedge, it's really easy to hit that kind of shot where the ball slides off the face and it doesn't go the full distance. I like to hit all my wedge shots like uh, like a three-fourths kind of swing or like a L to L kind of swing So I always feel like I'm compacting it and I'm getting the most out of my wedge shots as if I'm hitting a normal iron So I'll go with a 60 and I'm gonna hit an L to L swing important about this type of green is that especially on island kind of greens uh, there is there is a grain to the grass and the grain can actually severely affect where the direction of your break or your putt is going and so right now you can kind of tell where the grain is going because of the shine of the green if you see the shine then it's going with you if you don't see the shine it's going against you my putt right here is looking kind of straight uh, let's see how it goes My, the grain is going a little this way and right now I'm kind of almost near the apex of the green so I don't see that much break. Going for a left inside cup. Nope, just kidding, I'm going straight. Oh! 
just like a little flag within the hole, but that's in, I promise. Par five, birdie. You wanna always take advantage of those par fives with the par or better. Here we go, hole number two. So I'm in between a five and three wood. I would normally take a five wood, but I launch it too high and this wind is gonna be a wall. So I'm gonna take a three wood, keep it low and try and get it on that green. A par here is a really good score. And it's just a pretty wide green. So I'm gonna just go for it and try and go for center. Okay. Ah! <laughs> wow. This wind is howling. Now the wind calms down a little bit, which is nice. Um, I ended up becoming very short, and I didn't. I didn't really hit my three wood very good at all. My hat blew off, blew off of me, and I have a long chip. I'm gonna make it like a bump and run. The more green to work with, the way I like to play it is to get the ball on the ground running as fast as possible, so it's like minimal mistakes. It's the closest to a putting stroke as possible. So I might. I might chip it with a pitching wedge, I think, and then hopefully if I can save par here, that would be great. So, here we go. has been a struggle bus so far. I could have definitely used a, a bigger club to bump and run it, maybe like an eight iron instead, considering the greens are a little slower, a little grown out, and I think I was against the grain. Now we have a rather long putt still, at least like 30 feet out or more. And it's a mix between shiny and not shiny, so there is some grain, some against me. And the slope is going a little this way, and at the very end it goes that way, so I'm gonna try and aim rather straight. Here we go. Birdie that next hole. All right, hole number three, the last hole that we're gonna go through with my course management. It's a par four, it is 384. And here we have, a, it's like a slight dog leg left. It's gonna, or it appears like a dog leg left because of the trees that are right there by the tee box. And we're gonna try and set it up in a good place, uh, go for the bunkers and and hopefully score a birdie since it's a it's a shorter hole in relation to that part three of the last hole so here we go all right you guys hole number three here again so this tee box now aims you to the right you don't want to go left there's a little opening to the right so from here you want to just kind of take your best judgment i'm going to still tee up a little more towards the right side because i have a ten tendency to cut the ball and since this tee box is aiming to the right, I know I wanna avoid the left, but if I were to tee up on the left, I think it would over exaggerate my cut. So I'm gonna tee up on the right, hopefully play a straight or draw shot and try and end up left center here. Here we go. Another thing to note is that when you're in a place that is extremely windy, it is so important to still swing your swing. Greg said something yesterday that really helped and he was just saying to one of the other players that he's like, you're swinging at like 120% because of the wind. I need you to swing your driver like it's your seven iron. And so whenever it's breezy, you gotta swing easy. And like, that's actually very true. So here we go. Perfect setup. So 
I got 119 to the pin, playing a little bit up 120, but the wind is helping a lot. So I'm gonna try and power that pitching wedge. I think right here, it's a front pin. I personally love front pins because I love to attack it. And I'll, I know that if I just get over the bunker, then I'm gonna be in a good position. And I think if I'm gonna miss anywhere, a little bit left is good. And we'll go from there. So let's see how we do. It was definitely a good club decision considering the wind. All right, so much for two feet, you guys. It looks so much closer from far away and I'm like 15 feet out, unfortunately. So I'm actually, the grain's going to be helping me a little. The cup looks like this, but the green is looking like this. So I'm gonna go for, I think right edge and try and make up for that bogey on that last hole. I didn't make any pars. I went birdie, bogey, birdie, which is not bad at all. I was just telling my friend and editor that it's like on these greens, it's hard because with the grain, it isn't always what you see and you have to really, really, really look at it. And I think that that really helped on this last putt right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little course management vlog here for the first three holes at Sandals Emerald Bay. Stay tuned because we're going to be playing a lot more of this golf course. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you don't miss a beat. Bye for now.